I mean, you talked about getting on campus at LSU and Jordan Jefferson basically having a stranglehold on the quarterback job here. When you realize mm-hmm. that you can help the team in other facets of the game and you had to tap into those abilities that you had and you use that through your LSU career here, how did your LSU career and the things you had to find out about yourself here help you in the career that you ended up having in the in the league? Man, that's a good quick question. You know, so when I, I got to LSU, I came to LSU with a lot of hype. You know, um, obviously there was the hope that I can play the quarterback position and I can bring the excitement and then I can kind of continue, um, you know, what was kind of hot at that moment, that, that dual threat, athletic, you know, skill, you know, quarterback that can, you know, be an extra guy accounted for, account have to be extra guy accounted for on the field. You know, and then kind of when it went from that, it kind of went to the Percy Harvin thing. Let's allow this guy to be the guy who touches the ball in, you know, many different ways and, you know, get him involved. And, you know, just kind of never really, you know, I just kind of was able to get, you know, my career going for, for different reasons, being that, you know, we, we're going to establish the run. And I knew yeah. that going to the school. Um, so, you know, we're going to run the ball and we're going we're gonna to block. You know, that's how we're going to beat people down. And then, um, like I said, our opportunities would come off of, you know, establishing the run and getting open and, you know, being a consistent pass catcher. And I just think in my, in my, you know, my throughout my journey, you know, learning how to adapt um, while going through, you know, uh, having to compete with a, a young Odell Beckham, a, a young Jarvis Landry, you know, a, a, a seasoned Ruben, Ruben Roundel, a, a seasoned um, Brandon LaFell who's won a, a NASA championship. Damn, right? you are nasty so at the I, receiver I, position, huh? Dude, throw the ball! Right, right, right. We had, we had quality depth, man. Um, like I said, mixture, you know, really throughout my career. And, and like I said, I went from a guy, I can stop and start with the best of them. Mm. You know, I can change the direction. I was quick. I was tough. But, um, you know, catching a football is a skill that um, people just don't get overnight. So, you know, I had to kind of adapt, you know, to, you know, um, really developing my ball skills throughout, you know, throughout my college, you know, being an SEC player. And it took me some time. And I just think, you know, when you got young, skilled guys like uh, Odell, the Jarvis Landry behind you, you know, um, sometimes time is is the best thing to for you, right. you know, so. You know, it, it helped me, you know, be able to adapt, you know, while overcoming, you know, just compete, you know, stay true to the grind, stay consistent, you know, work, work, work. And then, like I said, throughout that, you know, having the skill set, having the talent, when I got to the NFL, you know, special teams, you know, um, that was my lifesaver, man. They gave me an opportunity to really develop and create a career for myself in the NFL. Look, these two guys aren't going to have the same amount of, I guess, fanhood <laughs> that I had because you're the reason that I brought I, – I was the first person in my high school to ever even buy a laptop because I wanted to watch your commitment live in school because I knew that's when it was going to happen. So I just wanted to say from my perspective, you, you mentioned all the things that made you great, and I was just wondering – look, I'm not trying to get into the belly of the beast here of what happened at quarterback, but did you ever feel like you had, like, actually had an ample opportunity – to be able to play that position at LSU, or was it more of as soon as you got there, you see the room, and I don't have a chance to win this thing over? Well, you know, I kind of, you know, when I got to me being the recruit, I was, I, I was, I knew every coaching staff was going to pretty much tell me whatever I wanted to hear just to get me there, and it was really only one coach that really just kind of was 100% real with me and told me pretty much he doesn't want me to play quarterback, and um, that was Nick Saban. You know, he came to the school and he said, "Hey, Russell, um, I like you." You know, I, I think you can be an All-American receiver. He said, I think you can be a top 10 uh, pick at, at, as a defensive back. Um, he says, you know, um, he said, allow me to, you know, he said, I, I think you can go to Oregon and play quarterback and win a Heisman. I mean, this is his, his exact words. And a young Russell Shepard didn't take that, take that lightly. So, <laughs> you know, um, like I said, <laughs> but like, you know, after I got to the NFL and I seen, um, you know, the DBs were my length. They were long guys. They were guys that played the quarterback position, like a Joe Hayden. They were guys that were aggressive. They were guys that can tackle. Like I said, my, my natural skill position was, was probably on the defensive side, um, you know, and once I kind of seen it, once I got to the NFL. But to backtrack, man, um, once I got to LSU, I seen Jordan Jefferson and I seen Jerry Lee were, were kind of better than advertised. Um, both can spin the ball and both had pretty good grips on the locker room. So you know, it was kind of me. I mean, it was I went up to Coach Miles um, a few days before um, the Capital One Bowl. Um, it was a, my freshman year. We were playing Penn State. 
And, um, you know, I told Coach, man, I, I, I want to switch it up. I, I want to be, you know, your Percy Harvin. I want to be a guy that touches the ball in multiple ways. And, um, you know, I kind of, I kind of, you know, started the process of, of switching me. You know, I, I think they were going to naturally gravitate towards it going into my sophomore year, knowing that I was just a year or two behind Jordan and Jefferson. Um, but like I said, I kind of started that. And, I, you know, once I said it, they didn't look back.